What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the video today. We're going to be going over something very important with Fortnite Battle Royale and that is going to be your graphic settings, your in-game settings to have that competitive edge over some of these sweaty players out there today. First thing that we're going to dive into is your NVID NVIDIA <laughs> NVIDIA control panel. I don't know what came out of my mouth the first time. I don't cut or edit this kind of stuff. So you guys can laugh along. Drop a like in the comments. Uh, drop a like in the comments. Wow, we are not on a good stage here. Let's go ahead and flip back. Try this again. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to the video. Today, we are going to be talking about your settings in Fortnite Battle Royale in-game and on your NVIDIA control panel. Let's go ahead and click on the NVIDIA control panel, which is going to be this little arrow down here at the bottom right of your taskbar. If you click that, you can click your GeForce Experience, which is going to pull up the control panel. Boom, there it is. What we're going to do first is go to Manage 3D Settings. Once you're in Manage 3D Settings, you're going to go to Program Settings. Once you click on Program Settings, you're going to see some games on here. We have Fortnite selected, and this is going to be our options. So the ones that I changed was your maximum free rendered frames needs to be set to 1. Your power management mode needs to be prefer maximum performance. Texture filtering, anisotropic needs to be on. <laughs> Your texture filtering quality needs to be performance. And then try linear optimization for texture filtering needs to be on. Threaded optimization needs to be on. And vertical sync needs to be off. After you click all those, you need to select apply. And then we're going to go over to the left and go to adjust desktop size and position one main thing you have to click here is this overrides the scaling mode set by games and programs so click that make sure everything else looks good like you have your uh, resolution to the correct one but that is it that's all you have to do in the control panel we're gonna go ahead and click out of there and we're gonna go into our Fortnite game so as this Fortnite comes up I'm gonna show you all my settings uh, in game which are very important to get that maximum frames per second that your computer can do and at the same time not lose any quality all right here we go so view distance is going to be set to epic we're going to have shadows to off anti-aliasing to off textures to medium effects low post processing low v-sync and motion blur off up at the top of the screen you're going to want to make sure you have this in full screen mode if you don't have it in full screen mode what are you doing display resolution set that to your resolution for your um, uh, monitor I don't know why I couldn't think of the name and then frame rate limit needs to be set to unlimited quality don't select any of those because it pre-selects little tabs underneath and then 3d resolution very important that we keep that at 100% um, and, and that's it so that's really all you have to do you don't have to restart your game or anything um, everything will be in here for you and you guys are ready to rock and roll sitting at the loading screen right now I'm pushing almost 500 FPS in game. It's around like 300 I believe um, And and that's it and you really do notice the the smoothness of the gameplay um, You know the, the game still looks great with shadows off and stuff like that so I, I am happy I came across the video or I looked it up online how to do this So I was bringing it to you guys Hopefully you do enjoy and you get something out of this that you didn't already know that's going to do it. If you guys want to follow me here on YouTube, just click that red subscribe button. You can see all my videos. I do live stream pretty much every day, sometimes every other day, stream of Fortnite, trying to get better on this grind. We're playing the solo gauntlet event today, so if you guys want to check me out, make sure you stop by the live stream. Probably be later on this afternoon. Thank you guys so much for the continuous support to all my returning subscribers. I'm looking this way because if I look at you guys right now, my mic, you won't be able to hear me. So don't don't take it as any disrespect. I love you guys. That's going to do it. Drop a like if you did enjoy. And leave a comment down below with any questions, concerns, anything that you want to reach out and ask me. Thank you guys so much. I will be back with another video shortly. Peace.